Project Zomboid has a problem. No, it's not that I just drove through those barricaded doors. It's this thing, the vanilla car. The cars in Project Zomboid have no animations. What about that car I just drove in with? That's a car from a mod. All the way back in August 2022, build 41.73 came out. In that build, they changed something about the cars. And that included a trap. It allows players to accidentally leave a car door open by making it possible to cancel the action of closing the door. Zombies can attack you through an open car door. However, pre-build 41.73, you cannot accidentally leave a car door open by entering the vehicle. Accidentally leave your car door open and there's no visual indicator that it's open. You find out when a zombie bites you through the seemingly closed door. To really confuse people, there has always been a mechanic where a closed car door with an open or destroyed window allows zombies to attack you through the window. This on the other hand is visually represented in the game. Window open, window closed, and as the zombies prefer, window smash. When the open car door trap card is triggered, players will immediately think it's a bugged car window because that's a much more familiar issue. So what's the problem here? In Project Zomboid, when your character dies, they are gone. You do not get a redo without manually backing up your saves, installing mods, or in the case your character hasn't died just yet, booting up in debug mode to remove the offending infection or wounds. Project Zomboid is a permadeath game. All those skills you painstakingly leveled up are gone. The resources you use to level them are gone. The only progression in that save file is what you did to the world, likely whatever base and loot stash you had going. You're not even guaranteed to be able to find the body of your previous survivor. To cap it off, death often comes in the form of a momentary lapse in focus. A single scratch can be the end of your character due to becoming infected with the zombie virus. When you mix the ease at which death occurs in Project Zomboid with a mechanic that allows you to be attacked with no visual warning, you end up with one of the worst problems permadeath games have. Dying to complete bullshit. How does this feature work? It's simple. You can interrupt the car door closing action with another action. Whether this is accelerating or opening your map, the door doesn't close. I'm going to highlight the difference between a mod and vanilla car because otherwise there's really no way for you to see what's happening. I'm sure you can already understand why this is such an issue. I'm also using a mod that increases the size of the action bar so that those of you on mobile can actually see anything. Here I am with my car running. I hop in and immediately accelerate. As you can see from the mod car, the door is open. The vanilla car is closed because it always appears closed, but letting a zombie walk up and attack confirms that it is in fact open. So what have the devs done about this problem in the seven months since then? Off the top of my head, they improved the way the interaction bar displays you are doing a multi-step action. They made it so that the door closing sound is separate from the opening sound. Yeah, that's right. When it initially released, even if the door did not close, it still played the sound of it closing. If you graph it out, you'll realize they did not fix the actual problem. The fact of the matter is that there is still no visual way to know your door was left open beyond paying extreme attention to that tiny bar above your head when entering the vehicle. To make it even more annoying, there's a button for closing and opening the car door on the vehicle menu, but only when you are standing outside the car. Once you enter, it's missing. Why? Right now, the only way to close the door is by getting out of the car and back in again. Not only would adding that in be a visual way to check if your door is closed or not, but it cut down on the annoyance of the feature. This is so much of a low-hanging fruit that a modder took it upon themselves to make the changes. By the way, the vehicle menu default keybind is V, which is also the default keybind for hiding the UI if you aren't within interaction distance of a car. Maybe that's a bad idea. While I'm mostly making this video to inform the players of a frustrating way to die in their permadeath game, I'm also making it to remind the devs, hey, don't forget about it. It's hard to explain this death trap of a feature to other people without them immediately questioning the situation. Are the devs straight up trolling in their permadeath game? Clearly, the intent is to animate the vanilla cars. But why add the feature months or potentially more than a year before the animated cars? We are four months away from this being a year old problem. The good news is that I can recommend you mods to alleviate the issue. First, if you're in the car, you're in the car. This mod directly attacks the issue by making the door always close. However, it's not compatible with other mods that mess with car functions. There is a previously shown mod that adds a door closing function to the vehicle menu when inside the car. Like the first mod, this only works with some other car mods, not all of them. If you don't want to deal with that, I can only recommend various mod cars that are already animated. Shark and Sit's Kentucky Car Overhaul completely replaces all the vanilla cars with animated real world cars. Mind, the balance of vehicles are greatly changed by this mod. Many of the cars made by KI5 are fully animated as well. I'll link their collection and the other mods in the description below. Hey Rhett, you implied there was a way to leave a car door open before build 41.73. Are you going to explain that? 
Sure. You can open and close the car door via the vehicle menu when standing outside. This allows you to place loot on the car seat without entering the vehicle. Note, you cannot sit on a car seat that has loot on it. You can, if you want, open the driver's door from the outside. Enter the car via passenger door as pre-build 41.73 entering the car always close the door. Then switch seats to the driver's seat. This will allow a zombie to bite you through the open door. Why you would do this, I have no idea. There's no reason to open the driver's door to put items on the seat and prevent yourself from being able to drive after all. 